Okay, we're gonna do some highlights of day 10 of Tour of America's Dairyland Cat 4. And uh, yeah, eh, I'm sprinting out of the gun. Look at this, 1300 watts right off the gun. And why am I doing that? Well, it was wet prior to this. It looked like rain all day, like it was gonna rain. So I wanna be on the front and hit the lines I want. I'm already causing some gaps and stringing stuff out. And the reason why is, you know, by the time I we had formulated this plan to just hit the front, this line in particular was difficult if uh, it was wet. So I didn't do so hot there on that line, but still causing gaps behind. And what that means is that I could continue my speed and avoid any crashes. Now, you can see here, the course did dry up quite a bit by the time the, the plan had been uh, formulated and when I executed it. But here again, I'm lap two, and I still want to be in the first end of this corner. And there were some crashes behind us. So uh, if you don't get your line, you can kind of get a situation like this where you get pushed out, just terrible lines, and have to sprint out of that. So there were some barriers that kind of fell into the road here, and they looked like they were neutralizing the entire race. But then I get I lose like a shitload of positions here, and then they just continue to go right after this. So I had really bad uh, positioning after that. But nice thing is, is on this back stretch, I was able to just pull all those positions right back. And you're going to see this a couple different times where uh, people ease up there, and I'm basically doing no watts and look at them on the front again. So uh, here's another example of that of just minimal power after a good long stretch of people blasting it, you just continue that power just a little bit longer. So here, somebody's breaking off, and this corner, I knew I was gonna be into a wheel, I knew I wasn't getting dropped, so basically I didn't frantically go crazy there. You're gonna see another example of that, where yeah, I have to put some power down here to really get up on the wheel, and it was a little miscalculation, but um, again, that's really important to, to be on the wheel out of that corner. So here I go again. Moving up on the right-hand side, basically putting very little power and just moving up tons of positions. Here's that other example we're talking about where I do a little effort here to, to make sure that this rider dropping back, uh, this gap doesn't get too bad. And then I take this corner. There's a guy on my right-hand side. You can see that. He's trying to take my inside. And I'm just like, bro, I'm, I'm really big. Like, you're not going to take my line. So, uh, unfortunately, that junior kind of had to hit some brakes, and now he's sprinting back on. Uh, but that's how it works when you're a bigger guy in those corners. Like, it's my line, it's my line. So if you're going to dive bomb in that, it's just, it's not going to work out for you if you're, you're a smaller guy compared to me. So here's another one of those examples where I can move up, sitting on a wheel this time. Now this guy, he gets put into the race 16 out of 17 laps. So last lap, and he gets pulled in. So I start yelling at him, thinking he's a lapped rider. You lap? Break! And you can see that my line is kind of screwed up a little bit. But it doesn't make up for the fact that I'm still like poor position here. So we're going to play out the last little bit of this last lap and see how this goes. So last lap, again, terrible positioning, getting swarmed in this corner, some guys on my inside line. So really bad positioning into this corner, which means everyone's blasting 1100 watts to get out of this. And now should be the time that, you know, I, frant I should be frantic, right? Like this idea that I should be sprinting here. I should be literally going all out because this is the race right here you lose your race before the last couple corners just in this stretch so i do put some good power down here i do move up a good couple of positions but it's just that last little bit right here i need to be sprinting still sprinting still sprinting sprinting more sprinting harder clearly i'm not doing that so here i end up into this second to last corner and i'm like 10th wheel when i should be like third wheel where you know up there you can see my teammate he's third wheel he actually gets second on this race second place on this race so again that's the race right there right no matter how hard you can sprint how fast you can go uh terrible position so lesson learned there but again we only got one more race into the uh cat four series here at toad so stay uh stay tuned for the last one and uh be sure to subscribe to so you don't miss it thanks for watching